Hi, my name is Penny Perlman, and I'm a board member of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of the Connecticut Chapter. I'm also a First Connection volunteer. I talk to newly diagnosed patients. And here we are at the Star Right Authors Luncheon. Jeannie Montano, I'm the Executive Director here at the Connecticut Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and I'm thrilled to be here today. We've got a gorgeous day, we've got Danny Meyer coming, and it's going to be terrific. I'm Dina Mariani, I'm the Deputy Executive Director at the Connecticut Chapter for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and this is our second annual Star Right Authors Luncheon with Danny Meyer. We are so excited to be here today. We've grown the event tremendously um, in our second year so it's going to be a great day. Yeah, we're classmates from Staples. We're not telling you the class. You I want to know why she looks so much younger than me. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming and for supporting our cause and this is such a treat for us to have Danny Meyer here. I know that many of you here are cancer survivors, not just of blood cancer, but others. And I think you need to be recognized as well. If you are comfortable, if you could stand, we would like to applaud you for your fight against cancer. It is with great pleasure and deep honor that I bring to you one of my other sons, Danny Meyer. <laughs> Well, thank you all so much for coming out today. Thank you to the uh, committee of uh, LLS. I'm very, very impressed with the work you do, and uh, it's, it's a pleasure for me to be here today. So when someone says my favorite anything, they're paying the absolute highest compliment they can pay. You, it just doesn't get any better. And we believe that if someone says this is my favorite hospital, because I just love going to hospitals, uh, <laughs> Uh, what they're basically saying is this. They're saying that the hospital is really good at what it does, and it's really good at how it makes me feel. And we believe that service is under the 49%, which is performance. How good the thing is, plus how good it is at what it does. And we think that hospitality actually accounts for 51 of the points, since we want to get 100 on our test which is how good did you make someone feel. So when someone tells you that a place has good service, all they're really doing is, and it, and it's critical, you better get those first 49 points or you're, you're just not in business anymore. It means they did what they said they were gonna do. In my business, it means they got the right food to the right table, at the right temperature, at the right time. Um, or, you know, in the airline business, it basically means three things. The flight took off on time, kept you alive and got your luggage back. They do those three things, that's good service. But, that, but, but good service doesn't even begin to tell you in any business whether or not the place made you feel good. And I think increasingly in an age where we're getting high tech with everything, and I really, I, I, I'm singling out hospitals only because we're under the aegis of a, a very important health concern, but the more high tech we get, the more high touch people really need in their lives. And, and I really mean that. We didn't open our second restaurant, Gramercy Tavern, for almost a whole decade. So a lot of our growth has been uh, more recent than, than that. We tried to look at what was working. Why was it that when you opened the Zagat survey in New York, which is a city of 26,000 restaurants, 100% of our restaurants were in the top 50. Today, three of the top five are our restaurants when New Yorkers are asked, what's your favorite restaurant? I was trying to figure out what are we doing right? But one of the things I love about baseball is you can have a star pitcher, a star first baseman, a star outfielder, but it's the team. And it, even though that there's an individual at bat, they're all playing the same game with the same team. It's like a jazz band as well. There's a leader who picks the song and even gets to pick the arrangement, but everybody gets a solo, but they all come back and they have to play together. So generally, a quote-unquote prima donna chef is not going to uh, succeed within our organization.